Hi everyone and welcome to this Fan Art Friday video. This time I decided to work on an Attack on Titan drawing featuring Eren Jaeger and the Armoured Titan. And while working on the sketch and thinking about the layout of the drawing, I wanted to make it look like they're facing off against each other in the style of a fight poster. And then later on I wanted to make sure I added some graphite pencil steam effects surrounding them. Once the initial sketch was completed, for the outlines of the drawing I mainly used my Copic Multiliner SP 0.03mm, keeping the lines as smooth as possible. Then for some areas I also used my Pigma Micron 03, as I found this to be extremely helpful for features like Erin's hair that required thicker outlines. Um, and I, I tried to kind of add some blocked areas of ink, so using a thicker pen was really helpful for this. I didn't anticipate how large my initial sketch was as well, so the outlines ended up taking a huge amount of time. Um, I think the sketch and the outlining process ended up taking at least four hours in the end. But I'm more than happy to spend this amount of time on the outlines when it comes to working on drawings like this, because I really believe that they help so much to build the foundations. With the outlines eventually completed, it was time for me to work on the colouring, starting off with the Armoured Titan. For the armour plating, I started with a base layer of cool greys, ranging between cool grey 1, 3, 5 and 7, and then over the top of that shading I blended warm grey 1, 3 and 5, uh, to define the outlines around some of these plates, to make sure that their details kind of show up amongst all of that dark shading. I made sure to add some highlights, with my white Prismacolor pencil and my Uniball white ink pen. For the visible muscle fibres between all the plating, I began by adding some base layers of crimson and cardinal, followed by some super dark shading with a black marker, and that was blended outwards with cool grey 7 and 5 in that order. And then I also added some very different highlights to the area to indicate a much more shiny texture that really contrasts the armour plating. For his eye, I blended between honey and buttercup yellow, and then I added a large and horizontal highlight with my white ink pen. I continued using the same colouring techniques for the rest of the armour plating and the muscle fibres, adding the cool and the warm greys to the armour plating, and contrasting that with the bright reds of the muscle fibres, then making sure to also add the highlights to each of these areas to bring out the detail amongst all of the darker shading. I also coloured in his teeth in the same way that I coloured in the plating. I honestly really love working on details like the armour plating and the muscle fibres. Each of these sections takes a few layers of detail to complete, and so this part of the drawing often takes the most time. But I find the process of blending between the Copics, the Prismacolors, and the highlighter pen to be really enjoyable. And it's also super satisfying to add the contrasting highlights and the shadows to define the shapes, and just seeing the overall shape of the drawing develop over time is one of my favourite parts of working on detailed drawings like this, and it's why I've been looking forward to attempting this drawing for a while. For the last part of the Armoured Titan, I used Cool Grey 3 and 5 to colour his hair, but it was looking a bit flat, so I added some Cool Grey 7 underneath it. After that, it was time to colour Eren, starting with his skin tones. For the base layers, I used pinkish white and pale heath, adding extra layers in areas that I wanted to develop more shading. Then over the top of that, the markers that I actually used for the shading were pale grape and light grape, followed by cool grey 3 and 5. Uh, to add a bright tone over the top of this, I also blended a blush marker. Then around his eye, to add even darker shading, I blended between a black marker and cool grey 7. For the eye itself, I used new leaf and apple green, and then I made sure to add some bright highlights with my white ink pen. And at this point, I decided to start placing some highlights around his skin with the pen and my white Prismacolor pencil. And uh, in the darker shaded areas, I found that adding the highlights with the, with, with the pencil it just helped so much to develop some of the wrinkles. I used Crimson and Cardinal to add the bright colouring to his tongue, followed by shading with Cool Grey 5 and 7, and also I made sure to add a bunch of highlights here as well. Once Eren's face had been coloured, I started working on his hair, using mainly Cool Grey 3 and 5 towards the top of his head to show a more highlighted area, and making sure some of the line work was visible. Then I started blending more Cool Grey 7 and black, getting darker towards the lower part of the drawing. Um, I left a few highlights on this part too, and to add a few more highlights I used my white Prismacolor pencil. 
After that, I added a little bit of colouring towards the top of his shoulder, and then it was time for the final stage of this drawing, and that was adding the steam effects. I started with a lighter background, adding a couple of layers of shading with a 6B pencil, and then blending that with my fingers and a blending stick. Then I used a small eraser to add highlights to the top of some of the steam clouds. To try and add more depth to the drawing, I added a darker layer of steam between the two of them, and then I added another layer in the foreground. Then to add some final touches, I also added a few more effects with the white ink pen and the graphite pencils, adding some particles and some lines sweeping right across the page. And then after that, this drawing was completed. And overall, it took about eight and a half hours to complete, and I had an awesome time working on this one. I, I love working on the Attack on Titan fan art, and especially these two characters, they are so fun to work on. So please let me know what you think, and also let me know if you have any suggestions for future videos. If you want to see more stuff like this, then make sure you're subscribed, and any likes or shares on this video, they really mean a lot to me. If you want to follow my progress, and see progress photos before I post these videos, then please check out the links in the description box below to check out my Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. And once again, thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much for the support, I really appreciate it. I hope you're having an awesome day, and I'll see you all soon.